Hey guys, what is up? It is your friendly neighborhood Ubus here, back again with another Isaac Brigman. And this time I'm going to start with Monster's Lung. And uh, we're going to try and go fast, but I have no guarantees. Monster's Lung is not as easy of an I win button as uh, Mom's Knife happens to be, so... <laughs> there, there might be some struggles along the way, but... I'm going to try my best to go fast, which... Not doing a great job by shorting my shot. I do want the bomb. I want bombs. I want keys. Don't care about coins, but if I get enough, then I'll begin caring about them and go to a shop. Okay. Spiders need to fucking stop. There's no way to deal with this guy in a fast manner without getting hit. Like, there's just none. I can avoid getting hit by taking my time and being methodical about defeating him as an enemy. Or I can just take the hit or hits in this circumstance and be done with it. Gotta take calculated hits when trying to go fast. Alright, so wooden spoon's real good. Uh, I didn't have time to, of course, uh, you know, bite down on four different pills, <laughs> hoping that some amount of them were good. That just was unrealistic, so. Had to reroll it. Wooden spoon's a good one to reroll into. Dingleberries, of course, are uh, doing their best job to Make this run a living hell. So that's great. Thanks, Dingleberries. Appreciate that. It's really nice. Really nice of you to suddenly become aggressive enemies and then become the opposite of that moments later. I know it's not your fault. It's uh, it's the fault of whoever programmed it, Tyrone. Nah, it wasn't Tyrone. It might have been Tyrone. Could have been Tyrone. Tyrone, of course, being the, uh, one of the, like, head programmers for Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I don't exactly know the <laughs> specifics to the, the working atmosphere over at Nicholas, but Tyrone's the one who always tweets everything about, uh, like, Afterbirth and stuff. So... He's definitely one of the head honchos, if not the, when it comes to the programming side. I don't know why I have to deal with nothing but spiders forever. I don't know why this has become my fate. I don't understand what the deal is. I don't know why I'm grabbing pennies. It's because I'm tired. I'm really exhausted today. Um, I was telling a, a story about today uh, in my previous recording attempt for this episode which uh, may or may not have been um, ended in a fashion that uh, makes me a tad bit upset. But regardless, here we are. And uh, let's go. But I'm tired because... Um, so we celebrated my mom's birthday today, even though her birthday is not until tomorrow, which is today for you. And uh, we celebrate it on Sunday because... Well, in this circumstance, it was on Sunday because, um, celebration was. Jeez, I'm bad at storytelling when I'm fucking tired. <laughs> uh, fuck off, you, ah, uh, you butt lickers. That's literally the name of your enemy. Oh my god. Oh my god, die. I hate this enemy. I, I fucking, I hate this enemy. I hate that enemy. I really wish it didn't exist. Why did I get nothing but spiders followed by butt lickers? I don't understand this. Why is my life hell? Anyway, um, her birthday is on Monday, and we were like, okay, well, that's not going to be a great day to celebrate it, because people have... What is happening to me? What are my buttons doing? I swear to God I didn't even touch the space bar. Apparently I did, though. <laughs> I don't understand. Something horrendous is happening in my brain, and I don't understand it. Um... Maybe I played football. Oh my god! Spiders! Ah! Ah! Okay, alright. Let me tell my story. We went to the condo that my parents own, which is inhabited by my brother. How did that hit me? Oh my god. I don't understand. It's inhabited by my brother and his girlfriend. 
They live there currently. And they needed a new toilet. And as the tenants, right, that's, that's what they're, whatever, they're fucking my parents. Uh, they bought them a toilet and we had to install it. And so by we, I of course mean uh, I had to do uh, some heavy lifting of two separate toilets, one up the stairs and one down the stairs, and I don't like lifting things, but I do it because, um, you know, people need assistance in lifting things, and I happen to be a somewhat able-bodied individual. <laughs> Thank fuck. Um, and so I assist where needed. But it sucks. And then I had to mow, of course, because it's the weekend, and mowing on the weekend is, uh, just the thing that, uh, I happen to do. So, yeah, basically I'm exhausted, which means that my brain stopped working. Uh, it's continued to stop, it's not, I can't, so. That's where we're at right now. How? I don't understand it. This game doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me when I'm not loopy. And I am loopy right now, so not great. It's not a great spot to be. I really, I'm pissed off mostly at the fact that I somehow have a lower than basic tier rate without having a single tears down. It, the amount of time it's taking to shoot a single burst of monster's lung is so slow compared to basic tier rate. But I don't understand because I, ha I should have basic tier rate. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. That's poop there. Okay. What the fuck ever. Um, so yeah, I'm exhausted today. And uh, stuff. I'm also like, <laughs> I was pretty stressed out at the beginning of the day. Um, speaking of stressed out, sh shout outs to the song Stressed Out by 21 Pilots. Hey, sponsor me. Would that be a weird thing for a band to sponsor somebody? Like, hey, plug our band a lot. And we'll give you money. I, I understand, like, record companies could sponsor people. I mean, they probably do on a, a frequent basis, but, you know. I don't know if it's considered sponsoring, if it's just, like, advertising, I guess. Which, of course, happens quite frequently, but... Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Right, I was very stressed out because the plan for the delivery of my mom's gift, right? So a gift that we came up with was a DNA test for our dog Mia, who I'm convinced is an Affenpoo. Um, everybody else seems to be in the camp of she's a Labradoodle. I disagree, but, you know, we wanted to do a DNA test to prove once and for all. And so that's, that's her gift. And uh, the thing is, right... Result or the the DNA tests they take several weeks generally like two plus weeks generally in the realm of three sometimes it can be as short as two uh, depending on the circumstance but um, so you know wasn't ready in time had to take her last week on Wednesday I believe to give the blood and such oh I didn't want to actually take the box. It ended up being okay. In fact, it ended up being quite good. All right, I'm a liar. I liked the box. I'm glad I took it. Uh, so that was the gift, and we wanted it to be a surprise, right? And it was difficult because my mom's accidentally nosy about that sort of thing. Like she'll just she'll stumble upon something that we don't want her to see, and we like attempted to hide from her. And it's not like she's maliciously like, oh geez, I wonder what they they did for my birthday, and then just like, you know hunts it down or anything it's just like you know she's walking through a room and is like oh that's weird and out of place and then like looks at it and it's like oh why is there this thing here and we're like no wait <laughs> um but how how i didn't move this room is bullshit oh my god dude i hate this room how there was nothing there Ooh, this game! It makes no goddamn sense. Anyway. Um. What was I even saying? Right, so, uh, we decided, because we weren't gonna have the results for the celebration of her birthday, uh, to do a, a 
joke, like, pie chart of what Mia is made of. And, uh, because of the way she looks and smells, we kind of, we make jokes about her being horrifically disgusting. You know what? We're going fast, so this'll, this'll do. I don't get to use a little brim anymore, but pff, who needs a little brim? Um, but, so it was like a joke pie, car, pie, pie, pie chart thing, and, uh, they don't have a printer at the condo, so I was uh, tasked to print it. Which doesn't sound difficult, but then you realize that, uh... The printer in our house is in my parents' bedroom. So, that uh, poses a problem. Because, obviously, my mom's not supposed to see it. Thank God it's blue mom and not red mom. <laughs> I was about to lose. Um, I was about to lose my shit, specifically. But. Uh, yeah, so, would have been difficult to hide. Um, so, what I ended up doing was, uh, when my mom was getting ready, taking a bath to get ready to go today. Uh, that's when I decided to print it. And then a couple issues popped up. <laughs> uh, including the fact that the pie chart used blue in one of the wedges. Yet, of course, we happened to be out of blue ink. And as such, uh, I needed to quickly escape to Photoshop. Well, not Photoshop. I use GIP because it's free. Um... And it works just fine. I've, ha I've never had an issue with GIMP. In fact, it does everything that I wanted to do. And I tried using Photoshop, and I'm like, yeah, I don't understand what these buttons do. Because um, I'm so used to GIMP. But anyway, I went to GIMP, and uh, I don't know if you've ever tried editing something like a stylistic pie chart uh, via Photoshop or GIMP, of course, um, after it's like become a... a JPEG in this case, uh, of course, uh, I have to tell my brother to stop and never use JPEGs ever again, but, you know, it was a JPEG, which made it even more difficult to edit, because it had little weird artifacting things that are very, uh, very JPEG related, um, but I had to edit it, change blue to a different color, I chose red, because there wasn't red on the pie chart yet, at least not a, like a deep red, there was like an orange, so I went with red, so I had to edit it after printing a copy, realizing, oh, this this doesn't work. We don't have blue ink. This is like, you know, it's blue half the way down, and then it looks like it got chewed up by something, and then it's white for the rest. And then it's like, all right, yeah, that's unreasonable. Uh, I got to fix this. So then I, I did, changed it to red, print it again and like by the time that I finished printing it again literally like my mom was coming out of the bathroom after being done right like the timing was just I was cutting it just unhealthily close for my own uh, heart I suppose sure blue cap just for the health I need survivability right now Win the home stretch, you know. I gotta just not die. That's the goal. Um, so yeah, I was pretty stressed because, you know, at first I was like, I printed it, and I was like, oh, that wasn't too bad. And then I looked at it, and I was like, oh, this is a, this is a horrible, horrible, horrible thing to happen. And then I had to quickly develop a plan, execute the plan, and do all that shit in like, you know, half an hour total. Yeah, no, fuck all these rooms. This isn't this isn't what I signed up for. This one's not bad, but it is faster just to blast through. Fuck off, dude. Okay. Of course it's the big room that we have to finish. Welcome to Binding of Isaac. Uh, not speedrunning yet, of course, but going fast. Fa fast fasting. Fast, fast, walk fasting. Well, you missed up the order? Fuck it, I know. Listen, man, that's part of the joke. Don't explain jokes, okay? Oh, okay. So, that's right. This is what I wanted to talk about. Um, I finally watched the finals for America's Got Talent because I didn't actually see them when they were happening because I was sleeping because my sleep schedule's perma-fucked. Uh, but 
I didn't see them, right? So I finally got around to watching them, and they put the acts on YouTube real fast, so... Oh, fuck off. Of course I have incredibly obnoxious rooms to blast through into a dead end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get it, Isaac. You fucking suck. I understand. This is stupid. Just let me, let me go, dude. We will not let you go. Let him go. We will not let you go. Let him go. This villa, no. We will not let you go. Okay, I'm fucked. <laughs> let me tell my story then. Okay. I'm not doing another run. I'm too exhausted for that shit. I'm sorry. This episode sucked. But I finally watched the America's Got Talent uh, finals. And I have to say, I would not have chosen the ventriloquist to win. Oh, spoilers! Yeah, well, whatever. It's like a week old. Fuck you. Um, so the the ventriloquist, the ventriloquist one. I wouldn't have voted for him. I would have voted for the mentalist, because his act was fucking good. I understand magic stuff. Uh, mentalism, although most people consider it magic, is like a completely different thing. Normally, normally a completely different thing. Some, the, I mean, the line is slightly blurred, but I do understand quite a bit of most magic tricks. I do understand generally how they're done, but mentalism is just like this foreign world to me. And like, oh my god, I, I have a theory about how he did his final act, but I don't even know. It's like, it's a tough one. It's a tough one to figure out. Um, I'm sure people have like analyzed the footage hundreds of times with multiple zoom and enhances uh csi style but you know but with one watch i i think i have a good idea but it's it's baffling it was a really good trick because it had like three separate punchlines, all super powerful and crazy so i would have picked him uh not the ventriloquist he was good though ventriloquist was uh the other act i really liked was the stand-up comedian kid with the stutter his act was really funny to me um, I just like the fact that he can laugh at himself, laugh at the fact that he has a stutter, rather than, uh, you know, like, it is, he does see it as a challenge, you know, but it's not, like, a thing that he just doesn't want people commenting on, it's a thing that he openly accepts and jokes about, right? Like, one of the jokes was, uh, essentially, it, <laughs> I'm not gonna deliver it all the same as him, because that would take a while. And also, I can't do the stutter very well at all. But um, it essentially was like, you know, he and his girlfriend, uh, by the time that he gave his girlfriend his number, it was their anniversary. <laughs> and uh, then he, he obviously dove into the situation and acted it out. And it was like, And she was like, okay, I have three eights. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like no 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 one 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 eight 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 one 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 eight and it's like it's such a perfect fucking joke and i love it i just love it oh my god i found him so funny and the fact that he actually outwardly laughed at some of the jokes was great too any comedian who can outwardly laugh at their own jokes without seeming cocky is really really good but anyway Hope you enjoyed this episode. Sorry it was so short and shitty. I'm just, I'm physically and mentally drained from today. It's crazy. Uh, and I meant to record it earlier today, but didn't never really got an opportunity until now. Uh, so I'm going to go pass out for like 48 hours, and I'll see you guys on, uh, on Friday, I guess. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm not going to miss a day. I'll never miss a day of Isaac, hopefully. I haven't yet. I, I haven't actually missed a day of Isaac since I began doing these Isaac episodes in... Fuck, dude. Was it this... Well, I might have... Did I miss any days? I guess I missed some at some... I don't remember. I definitely haven't missed a day since, like, January, I think. Pretty sure. It's a, It's been a large amount of months, over half a year, for sure, where I haven't missed a day. So, anyway, hope I can keep consistent with the Isaac. Hope you guys are still enjoying it. Um, 
numbers are, I don't know, numbers are a tough thing to pinpoint. So I, I'm not going to harp on, or I'm not going to, uh, what do you say? Not harp. I'm not going to, like, sit on the, like, I'm not going to think about him too much. I'm not going to let him get to me. Because, like, the numbers have somewhat gone down and not really, the, the growing has sort of stagnated, but... It's it's really it's a, a hard thing to pinpoint. I don't think it's just the fact that people are like sick of Isaac or anything. I think it's a combination of a lot of factors. But regardless, thank you to everybody who has stuck with me. I fucking love you guys. Um, I do read every comment and I appreciate every of the every single one of them, even if you're calling me out on stupid shit I say. In fact, I might appreciate those more. But once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.